Audio Jungle. Welcome to my new video. Today I will show you how to configure ISIS or intermediate system to intermediate system and LSCP, the link aggregation control protocol in Juniper routers. As you can see here, we have a small lab here. We have two uh, MX and we have two switch and we have two hosts. So here we will make reachability between these two hosts and also uh, need to configure, uh, first of all, need to configure the IP. Let's start. Before uh, configure this IP, need to configure what to configure the link aggregation. So, how can I do it? As you can see here, we have three links. So let's move to uh, to first router. So here I'm in first router. Uh, the first uh, things you need to configure the chassis in the aggregate device. Okay. So how can I do it? So I will uh, do the set chassis okay aggregate aggregate device after that the ethernet device counts so here uh, the device count here we can put it as one no, no issue okay after that need to configure the set interface a e0 this is uh, this mean the aggregation or the interface aggregation after that need to uh, aggregation ether option i will uh, this uh, give the option or uh, the type of the lscp as we know we have the active and the passive so here we need the, to configure to active no problem lscp active okay so here active okay and uh, the same the same uh, configuration here need to configure the lscp accept the data okay accept accept that okay uh, after that uh, need to move uh, to set interface interface a e0 ethernet option or uh, sorry aggregation ethernet option so here we need to configure the minimum link the minimum link what does uh, does it mean about the minimum links so here as you can see we have the three three links so i will put it as the two links the minimum of two links if these two uh, links are down so uh, will this interface uh, aggregate okay will be down so we'll notify uh, this uh, aggregation is down so i will uh, choose two this is mean the two links when you uh, for example when this first link is down okay so the the link aggregation will stay work no no issue but if the two links are down so here we have only one link so here we notify this link uh, or this interface is down okay the link uh, the link minimum is two okay after that need to access in a physical interface and uh, and assign this uh, interface or physical interface to this logical interface okay how can do it as you can see we have giga 002 giga 004 and giga 005 so let's do the interface giga 004 or 002 let's start with uh, giga 002 okay uh, after that uh, giga option giga option so here, uh, as you know, uh, the, the LSCP uh, is 80 or uh, 800, zero, 802, 380. Okay, this is it means the the the, the LSCP. The LSCP. Uh, after that, need uh, to put the the interface or the name of interface. The name interface is Ethernet or AE0. Okay, AE0 let's do uh, for all interfaces the same one giga 003 ah uh, sorry not giga 003 need to delete it okay this set here we have two and four and five four and what and five after assign the physical interface need to give uh, in the logical interface uh, the IP okay so we'll do a set interface uh, a e0 okay unit 0 okay family inet address 
as you can see in this network we'll use 11 address 11001 slash 30 okay then commit this is for uh, first uh, aggregation okay let's move to the second one then i will configure this this ip is very simple let's do the same uh, same configuration same configuration here in second router set interface ae0 okay uh, ethernet or aggregation ethernet option As you can see here uh, where is it where is it this one as you can see still down the protocol still down because we didn't commit uh, this the second route let's do commit now so I commit let's now check the same one I think it will be up so as you can see here the protocol is up if you try to ping run ping so the ping is successful okay so it means here uh, the link aggregation is successful okay so let's move now to configure these uh, two interfaces giga 003 let's start with uh, this router okay so set interface giga 003 okay uh, unit 0 formally inet address 10001 slash okay then commit okay and let's move to the second router set interface giga 003 unit 0 family inet address family uh, address here is 12000001 slash 24 now let's to move to configure the isis protocol so in the isis protocol as you know the ISIS protocol is using the, the ISO, okay. Uh, the ISO, okay. So here, uh, if you uh, didn't understand the ISIS, I have uh, I have one uh, I have one session already explained in my my channel, so you can check it, okay. So uh, let's move uh, to configure the ISIS protocol. Uh, first of all, need to uh, represent or define the uh, the NSEP or the network entity after that need to uh, apply uh, in uh, every interface the the ISO the family ISO and after that ISO sorry and uh, also need to configure the protocol ISIS and disable the area one okay the area one, okay 
okay, because we are using the area 2, okay, uh, sorry, not area 2, the level 1, sorry, not uh, the area, the level, uh, the level 1, I will disable the level 1, okay, so let's move, so interface, set interface, loop back 0, loop back 0, okay, the, uh, so here, the unit, unit family, unit 0, family, ISO, okay, ISO, and network entity, or, the address the address here I will put this one how can do it so you can check my uh, my uh, my course in the YouTube okay so you will see how can configure this asset okay so I will put it uh, 49 okay 001 it means the area the area one I will use the area one zero one zero zero one zero zero okay and then one zero zero one and then zero zero okay and also need to configure the interface giga zero zero uh, three unit zero family is okay also with the the aggregation okay that's it then set protocol ISIS, okay, the ISIS here, set protocol ISIS, and also need to define the level, level 1 disabled, okay, level 1 disabled, and also need to define the interface, which interface you want to, uh, this ISIS will enable under this interfaces is Giga003, and also A0, and the loop back zero. This one, then comment. If you check now, run show root. Okay, run show root. As you can see here, we have a new table. Aizu, okay, define the loop back, our loop back. Okay, so let's move to uh, the same one with the router number, number two. Okay. First of all, we need to define the set interface loopback zero unit unit zero family ISO address. The address here is not the same. Is uh, 49001 same area 0, 0, 20, 0, 200, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. We need to apply under interface Giga 0, 0, Giga 0, 0, 3 unit family unit zero family iso set interface also in where in the ap or the aggregation okay after that need to apply set isis protocol set protocol isis okay uh, level one disabled okay then apply this interface is Giga 003 and A0, EP0 and loopback 0. Then commit. If you now check the routing table, if I can see the 10 or not by ISIS, let's check, not yet. I didn't receive yet the, the updates. So now I receive it. Now I receive 10 by ISIS. Okay. So this administrative is 18 here. The ISIS in the Geneva routers. Not like Cisco. Cisco is 115. Okay. So if you now try to ping, let's do the first of all give the IP for this uh, PC of this host. IP 10.0.0.2.255.255.0. Uh, the gateway 10.0.0.1 same one second PC 12 IP 12.0.0.2 uh, 255.255.255.0 yes and let's try ping to 10.0.0.2 ping 10.0.0.2 as you can see here the ping is successful 
So this is lab how to configure the ISIS or the protocol intermediate system to intermediate system and how to enable the LSEP. These two things are uh, very important uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in our uh, in the real environment. So thank you so much for your watching and consideration. See you in the next video.